Hello everyone! I am sorry it has been so long since my last video and I hope you'll forgive me because I've got some really cool things to show you um, about what we can do with the MG today um, and also uh, we're, we're now pushing forward we're trying to get some more information from a car so that we can enable the key feature that I think everyone wants and that is the ability to turn on the climate control and the heating uh, from the comfort of your sofa so the the fabled app we've got some way already um, I know we're not getting the killer feature just yet but we have got quite a way and also we've got some really cool things to show you uh, so I'm here sitting in my car um, I picked up this car in July and I think since then that's been when ever all the work's kicking off um, it took a while because I had to move house uh, currently parked outside uh, our lovely lovely new house in Shropshire so uh, this rural electric systems name and um, all of that is it is really rural now uh, we are actually in a rural county uh, no longer in Coventry so um, yeah um, we've currently got a GoFundMe out and that's to help us with the development uh, to put out a bounty there to really help um, hopefully engage someone uh, with an Indian or Thai car um, I, I think they're the only two with the app so that they can start collecting some data for us uh, please if you can contribute something to that that would be a really big help we're funding the bounty for that but we're also going to be funding all future work on the car uh, there are some everything we've done so far has all been done with volunteers with people's own money They're, they're just doing it themselves um, And if we had a little bit of money there just to kind of help things along Particularly if we want to start building an app on a different platform um, That could really help so um, there, there are some plans um, and it depends on how much we get I would really like to get my hands on the proper MG diagnostic tools um, and then really uh, get you all the data that you can from the car because um, that's the kind of stuff we would love to do um, and we just I don't have the resources to do it yet but um, yeah with your help we can do it and we can make these cars better we are adding features we are adding functions so yes please take a look at the GoFundMe and help if you can right now onto this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of everything I've managed to um, to do on the uh, OVMS uh, device. So uh, firstly, uh, I'm going to run you through the app. Um, I mean, you've all seen screenshots probably on the Facebook group of the app in people's cars. People are loving it. The recent build, I think, is going down quite well. It's now getting the delayed charge. Uh, and it is working very well to collect data can't control anything but if you want the data off the car that's great so uh, that's going to be the first thing I'll run through uh, the second thing is I'll give you a quick uh, quick tour of the website uh, that OVMS creates so OVMS has lots of data that you can't see on the app and it's all there and also how you can send that to somewhere else so that's going to be a very quick tour and then uh, finally I want to show you the killer, killer feature I think a killer feature of OVMS today um, that you can do um, that I, I'm probably am the only person right now in the UK with this um, I think it's really cool and it was quite cheap to do and I, th I think it could be quite handy for people and that's the heads-up display so step one app right let's get to it so kind of Firstly, apologies, uh, this isn't my phone. My phone is currently being used to film. This is an old phone uh, that I'm borrowing. And uh, hey, look, you get a lovely reflection of me. I'll try and keep that to a minimum. Shiny screen. Uh, right, so yes, you can see the car. Um, we put the, with the help of Glyn, we got all the right graphics up there. And we got the battery percent. The car's running, car's live, 31%. Yeah, I believe it. 44 miles, 49 miles there. That's because um, this is kind of your best range, kind of thing. So uh, the kind of data we're pulling from the car, uh, we've got the tire pressures, we've got the 12 volt battery status, so that's really good if you're worried about 12 volt battery going flat. Ambient temperature, four degrees, it is feeling pretty chilly. See my heated seats on, it's quite comfortable in this car. 
The charger temperature, it's zero because the charger doesn't talk when the car's not plugged in. Um, we got some other temperatures, PEM um, and motor. The, I think motor's actually the inverter and PEM is uh, the DC-DC converter temperatures. And then there's a battery temperature and that's the battery coolant temperature. You'll also see the odometer. 2468.7 miles yep pretty close not done many miles as I want to and it would have the speed I mean obviously the um, that doesn't work yet obviously the speed isn't uh, is at zero right now you can see there would be some other features you should be able to unlock and um, put the car in valet mode those aren't supported by the MG um, they don't work yet you know that that's uh, that might be something we can enable. I don't know what the app can do uh, in the foreign markets. So um, obviously, it also shows you graphics of where the car is, and um, yeah, and it will give you some messages. You can get the car to alert you um, about various things. I don't have anything enabled right now, but there are some notifications. Ooh, drop this phone. There you go. So yeah, I think that's pretty neat. Uh, if you were sat on a charger uh, at a public public charge point, or you're sat at home and you're charging, there is a display. It will tell you what kind of charge rate you're getting, um, and it will tell you if the charge is interrupted for any reason. So if you're there grabbing a coffee um, at your motorway services, uh, you'll be alerted if someone's messed around, hit the reset button, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I think this is quite a handy feature to have. You can always check from your bed what kind of battery percent is, so you would know if the car failed to charge. So yeah, that's a brief tour of the app. Um, for more in-depth kind of features and stuff, um, I'll be happy to show you in a in a later video. So uh, the next thing I'm going to go on to um, is going to be kind of a cut frame because um, I'll log into a computer and do it there. But uh, that'll be the web interface what you what information you can get there so apps done so as promised here is a quick tour of the OVMS web interface so OVMS does a lot a lot more behind the scenes than just the app and the best way to see it is uh, over here on the web interface you access it by just going to the IP address of the OVMS device on your local network or if you want it creates a Wi-Fi access point that you can connect onto using your phone so you can see here there's the status of the vehicle um, there's things like the state of health there almost every car I've seen is 100% I believe there's one ninety-nine percent out there um, there's a lot of in information about how OVMS is connected to the networks um, what the modem's doing, uh, MAC addresses, IP addresses, all of, the, all of that. But the most useful one that I've seen is the shell command. So when the car's running, you'll be able to see all everything it's doing. Uh, but the most, if you want to see all the data that OVMS has pulled from the car the last time the vehicle was running, uh, the command metrics list will do it. And here is a whole bunch more data. So um, these are configurations of the OVMS device. You've got uh, battery voltages, uh, calibration. So OVMS will calibrate the battery voltage. It will tell you the current at 12 volts charging at. Um, it'll tell you the temperature of all the different cells. It'll tell you the voltage of all the cells, the max and min. Um, Sorry, I'm saying all the cells, these are actually the cell modules. There's nine modules within the MG, um, and there's 108 cells within those modules. You can see the current that was last drawn from the battery, um, the temperature across the pack. So if you had an imbalanced pack, uh, it could show you in terms of temperature. It could also show you in terms of voltage. Um, the range in kilometers, uh, the state of charge the voltage um, if your currents 
the vehicle's charging, the vehicle's limit, uh, so current limit. So you know the issue we're seeing with a lot of rapid charges not going very fast. That's because the vehicle is throttling them down. Um, and then just basically a lot more data. And this is increasing every day. So uh, as we're finding out more, we're popping more data into here. So I think that's quite a nice, very handy thing to do. Um, what else can you do? Well, you get, you can take this data and uh, import it somewhere else. So I'm going to show you how I'm using the data under my smart home. Uh, here we go. There's two OVMS units I have. Um, one of the one of them was from um, both of them from Glynn, and they're connected to the car, and it's pulling all the data that OVMS is getting straight into my smart home. And you can see here, there's a lot of info. And your next step, obviously, would be to build graphs and stuff, but it, it's kind of where it's all starting. So, for instance, one of the things I can do here is shut off charge at certain levels. So here I've charged the leaf to 90% and said stop there. And that's what that's done. And that's all data coming from OVMS up to the Dexter's web server and then back down into my home assistant instance. So yeah, there's a brief tour of what you can do in as extras on the um the OVMS. I hate it when people film in portrait mode, but honestly, that's the only way I'm going to get the camera to sit. So, <laughs> bear with, but um, yeah, so OVMS is currently pulling all the data from the car, um, including vehicle speed, as well as battery percentage, and uh, yeah, displaying it all straight up onto my heads-up display. So, if we pull out now, we can see that I'm going to speed directly matched up to the speed on the, um, the dashboard, which is pretty awesome really. It's very handy because obviously if I'm on this mode I don't get the speedo on my screen. Um, so yeah, the wife loves it. The battery percentage is very handy particularly if you want to start pushing it. Um, you see I'm down to two bars on the display and we're still at 29% battery. It's basically almost a whole Nissan Leaf range there. And I have, have tested this up to speed. Um, it does work um, all the way up. The only issue I'd say right now I'm seeing, but uh, I think I can fix this using OVMS, is reverse values. And do that. So we're obviously looping all the way around an integer. Uh, but yeah, overall I'm very pleased with it. It's working really well. Um, it, it is a bit slow sometimes to update, but usually when you're concerned about your speed, you've been sitting at it for a bit of time. So although there's a second delay, it's, it's not usually an issue. Um, you don't look at your speed when you're accelerating, you look at your speed when you let off. So yeah, very pleased, very happy. Um, looking looking forward to making more use of it right now. Obviously we're all stuck at home, not really driving much. Um, but uh, yeah, when we're back to normal, we'll get a lot more use. So yeah, I, I'll put a post on the discourse group to explain how how the, all of this works, the components you need, um, the the cost of it, well the OVNS we all know the cost of that, that's quite clear, um, the cost of the heads up display was around about £30 from Amazon, the cable um, will be about £12 but there's currently no one in the UK who stocks them. I did ask Glyn and Glyn would be up for it. So if there's enough interest, perhaps we can start ordering some of them, bringing them in. So yeah, you can see the issue now is I'm reversing 163 
isn't my speed, <laughs> obviously. Wow, my camera is very muddy. Right, so thank you very much for listening. Um, I hope this is some interest to you and um, look forward to the next few videos. Thank you again for um, listening and please remember to take a look at our GoFundMe page and help support the further development of new features on OBMS and other devices.